Nete Kuriria, Mamugusi TV, Enkoro Yomugusi.
this this morning, okay, uh, now I have a we don't have. But I just want to say
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mabarikiwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, wakati huu nataka mtoe sadaka. And they have been doing a great job this week. Let us appreciate them. Before I invite one of our, uh, of them, on Thursday we had a district council here. We had our pastors and our leaders and also general superintendent with his office and now we are now a full district not a full district and um, we missed most of you and I think maybe you thought that was just a leaders meeting because we said pastors and leaders to come on fruit. But the district council belongs to everyone. And uh, we hope that next year we will all of us join together. We need your prayers as a district. We thank God for this man that he has brought us. We were given this district with 14 churches. Right now we are 44 churches. with us as we continue expanding the kingdom of God. Also, to the start of next month, we will be having a great day of dedicating this house to God. Let us keep praying for that day and also getting ready because it will be wonderful. He is leading this team. He don't need a lot of introduction for you. Because he has been here for many times. He is our brother. My brother from another mother. He is our friend. He is an apostle. Let us put our hands together as we welcome Bishop David Copeland in this altar. Amen. All right, let us fast. Praise the Lord. Let us feel it. I'm so happy to be back. Meeting a frog will be happy. It seems like it has been so long. I have missed all of you so much. Kenya is my second home.
came back I missed that so much too I am so happy to see your smiling faces God bless you I am so happy to be with you Amen Well it's so good to be back home again in Kilgoris. And uh, I want to officially congratulate our bishop on being elected the first district superintendent of the Transformer District. Bishop Jackson and, and Pastor Adam. Nita me about to now Shukuru, Jugaji, Pomodena, Reverend Anna. And all of their leadership over the years that have been given to Kilgoris. Napia, Mongozi, Mong, and Kuahapa, Katika Kilgoris. The entire Transmar district and the nation of Kenya. Ah, Katika Transmar district, Napia, Katika, Taifa, Kenya. Let's give them another hand. Uh, I'm 
Actually, the correct English is sons-in-law. Ah, hiyo ndio correct English na Kiswahili wao wamechukua beti sana. But I'm from Alabama so nobody knows what I speak even in Alabama. Ah, ninatoka kule Alabama kwa hivyo hakuna mwenye anajua Kenya ninaongea. God has blessed us with two wonderful men who have taken our daughters. Mungu ametubariki na wajamaa wawili ambao wamechukua beti zetu. Given us five beautiful grandchildren. Na tena wametupatia watoto wetu watano wajukuu. And they were both serving the Lord Jesus and leading their families into the deep things of God. Now what the woman you are to be your 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 woman. My greatest prayer when making a missy word growing up. What mom yet to in the kuwa kati hao bintu wetu wawili. I didn't, I didn't ask God to allow him to marry a pastor. Nisi kuomba mungu ya pamba awaweze kuolewa na machungaji. But I asked God to give them a man of God. Lakini niliomba mungu wa wapatie watu ambao ni wanaume wa mungu. And I'm proud of both of these guys. Na mimi ni nakifunia wajama hao wawili. And the... He's the youngest one. Yeah, the noble. But he's the tallest one in the sand. Like him, yeah, the more effort we do, the more. And I want to introduce to you to bring the message today. Now, if you plan on doing this, you plan on doing this. You plan on doing this. You plan on doing this. And he can bring Missy with her, with him to introduce herself. Now, I'm gonna put the power down on the table. Oh, excuse me, yes ma'am. Yes. Um, I, I forgot to mention that all five of my grandchildren are on this team today. I made a note when I did the video. Sorry guys. But uh, it is great joy for me to introduce to you today to bring the word of the Lord. David and Mrs. Russell from Chelsea. David and Mrs. Russell. Okay. Weka jani yako kwa weka jani. 
We'll be reading today from John chapter 4. Leo tutasoma kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 4. That's not first John. Sio waraka wa kwanza ni injili ya Yohana sura ya 4. It's not second John. Na sio Yohana wa 2. We're in zero John. Tuko kwa Yohana ambaye hana namba yule injili ya Yohana chapter 4. Sura ni ya 4. Can I say I really am uh, blessed to be here with you. Kenya is a beautiful country with amazing people. And speaking on behalf of our team, thank you so much for receiving us so well, so kindly. And you know, let's start by honoring Bishop Jackson and Pastor Dan. I've known them a few years now. I was able to spend some extra time with them this week. And I want everyone to know that you are blessed to have them as your pastor. Yeah. I want to just honor my father-in-law and mother-in-law. Thank you for allowing me to marry your daughter. I was able to become part of their family. But he's also a spiritual father and a spiritual mother to me. And I'm so grateful. Lakini pia wao ni baba na mama wa kiroho kwangu na yeye anifurahisha. Na pia dada yangu Jennifer ako pamoja nasi katika uh, safari hii. Na pia ni baraka kubwa kuwa na yeye hapa. Na kama vile imetajwa tumekuwa na wiki ya ajabu kwa watoto kule na nusu. Pale hope I did have one very fun memory. Na pia niko na kumbukumbu ambao ni ya kusisimua kweli. And we this is funny now. Na sasa hivi ya kutekesha. We were playing a game. Tulikuwa tunacheza mchezo. And we were teaching the kids. Na tulikuwa tunafundisha watoto how to stack coins. Ah jinsi ya ku what coins. Oh jinsi ya kuweza kuhesabu pesa. And so we were showing them that the coins would be spread on the table. And take them one at a time and stack them. And every child took, you know, a minute or so to stack those coins very fast with a competition. This young man, his name is Junior, took all the coins, swept them off the table, into his hand, quickly made it into his sack, and set them down. Moja wapo ya kumukumu ya kusisimua Na pia kwa ikumi chetu Ni kwa kwa kila siku tungeuliza soli kwa watoto Je, umenifunza nini leo Na tulishangaza Kwa majiku yao Jinsi walivyo shika by the VBS. And I think that they have a very good understanding of the 
Ninaamini kwamba wana ufahamu mzuri sana kwa Mungu even at their young age. Hata katika We see your impact. Tunaona uwezo ama tunaona jinsi unavyofanya your blessing. Wewe umebarikiwa katika ufahamu. Okay, let's see the message. Haya, tuingie kwa ujumbe. Are you ready? Je, uko tayari? God has brought this passage of scripture to me. Mungu ameleta maandiko haya kwa mtu probably five or six times since the beginning of the year. Labda mara sita ama tano, mara tano ama sita mwanzoni mwa mwaka. I'm not exactly sure why. Na sina uhakika ni kwani. But every time I visit this passage, lakini kila mara ninaposoma mstari hii, it seems like God has more for me when I read. Nikana kwamba Mungu akona zaidi kwangu ninaposoma. That's something like that ever happened to you. Je, umewahi kutendekewa na jambo kama hilo? I pray that it will. Ninaomba ya kwamba ifanyike hivi. That is really God's word. Ya kwamba wakati tunasoma neno la Mungu, He will reveal himself to you. Atakifunua kwako. That he will reveal truths to you. Na kwamba atasababisha kweli zinuka kwa moyo wako. That revelation ya kwamba ufunuo after revelation ufunuo baada ya ufunuo will come to you utakuja kwako as you read his word as unaposoma neno lake na i believe there's an encouraging message na ninaamini ya kwamba kuna ujumbe wa kutia moyo for each one of you today kwa kila mmoja wenu siku ya leo so in John chapter 4 basi katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 4 you're probably familiar with this passage labda wewe una usoefu na maandiko haya Jesus, yes, to Galilee. Yes, when he went into Galilee, Galilee, with the disciples. How many of them are full of what? And he went through Samaria. Now, Capitia, Samaria. About noon. Now, he went to Galilee, Masai, Sasita. He got very tired. A kama mchoka. So he rested. A kapunzika. A Jacob's well. Kapa katika kile kibibu ama kizima cha Yakobo. Allow me to read starting in verse 7. Basi nuhusu nisome kuanzia mstari wa 7. By the way, na hata hivyo, I'm in the new international version. Yeye hapo kwa ile NIV because I'm international. Kwa sababu yeye ni wa kimataifa. Verse 7. Mstari wa 7. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Akaja wanamke wa Samaria Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew. And I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? Imekuaje wala kuniuliza macho? For Jews do not associate kwa sababu Wayahudi the Samaritans. How are you sitting on Samaria? Jesus answered her. Yesu akamjibu. If you knew the gift of God. Akamwambia kama ungelijua kalamu ya Mungu. And who it is that asks you for a drink? Naye nani akwambiaye nipe macho? You would have asked him. Ungelimuomba yeye na yeye angelikupa maji ya leo hapa mbeki tafadhali ka Now this encounter he hali ya Yesu kukutana na huyu mwanamke is surprising in a number of ways kuna mikakati ambao kuna mambo ambao ya mmejitokeza kwa njia tofauti particularly because of the culture of that day hasa kwa sababu ya utamaduni wa siku hii a woman would normally travel with another woman to draw from the well. They would also usually go early in the morning in the cool of the day. And a Jew would not address the Samaritans. Not 
But the reason the Samaritan woman was there when she was. Lakini sababu ya huyu mwanamke kuwa hapo kwa wakati ambapo alikuwa. Many scholars believe. Wale wa chaguzi wengi wanaamini. It was probably her past. Ni kwa sababu ya siku zake ama kwa sababu ya mambo yake ya nyuma. That I selected her for others. Ambao iliweza kumtenga na wamama wengine. But on this day. Lakini siku hii. It was a very different day. A very different day. For the first time in this woman's life, she had a choice to make. Yeah. There wasn't just one well. On Jacob's block. That day, a second well appeared. His name was Jesus. Jesus is gift. And for the first time in Jesus' life, he had a choice of how to start his public ministry. Who should he use to tell others in the whole world that he is the Messiah? How should he reveal himself? Should he use someone noble? Should he use someone rich? Someone with a lot of influence. Someone who knows a lot of people. Sort of like our driver Edwin. Uh, he seems to know everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look at the next few verses. Mr. Kalina of Fatia in John 4. Katika Kitab Verse 11. Mr. Kalina of John 4. Katika Kitab Chayohana in the verse 11. Mr. Kalina of Fatia in John 4. Sir, the woman said, You have nothing to draw with. You have nothing to draw with. And the well is deep. 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 Where do you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? Who gave us the well? And drank from it himself. As did also his sons. Now and his livestock. I think her response is very interesting. First, she observes that he has no jars of his own. Why is this man here? Second, she asks him, What is this living water you're talking about? She realizes that this is a spiritual conversation. Almost immediately. Uh, Which means she is a spiritual person. She knows who Jacob is. She knows of the ancestors using the stock ground. That Jacob gave to Joseph. She even relates to the fact that Jacob drank from this well himself. The third, she's challenging this man. Now yes, I like to hear the people now. Verse thirteen. Start with the first part. 
everyone yes so kaniko kamomia drinks this water kila mtu anywani mati hai in the first one yani anasema kwa ile kisima cha kwanza kilicho ardhini will be thirsty again ataona kitu tena but whoever drinks the water lakini yoyote akunywe maji i do yale ya mpayo mimi will never thirst hata kuwa na kiu milele Katika hali yetu ya leo, but that is 
place between the outer courts and the most holy place, the holy of holies. Me 
Nibun Pobonaya. Now I know there's a, a, a wide audience, a large audience here today. Nina Jua Kuna to very humble. But I don't want to speak to a crowd. Lakini sasa kuongea tu na watu. I want to speak to each one of you as individuals. Nataka niongee na wewe kibinafsi. You need to know. Unahitaji kujua. Not to hear this for someone else. Sio kusikia hii kwa niaba ya mtu mwingine. Hear this for you. Sikia hii ikuwe yako. Usitransfer kwa mtu mwingine. Leave your jars behind. Wewe wacha vitu vyako vya kutegea maisha ya kale nyuma. It doesn't matter who you are. Haijalishi wewe ni nani. Throw down your jars. It doesn't matter where you come from. Leave those jars of Jesus. It doesn't matter how much you have or how much you don't have. Leave your jars behind. Leave it at Jesus' feet. And don't proclaim what he's done for you. Do you receive that? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we can encounter you. In the year of 2022, you have a purpose for each one of us. And right now I ask that the spirit of revelation would sweep through this place. That your Holy Spirit, the power of God, goes on manifest here on this earth. We begin to show people their purpose. We begin to show people what you have for them in their future. For anyone who walks in today and does not know you, I pray that you are hearts to your life to you today. That you establish that purpose. For any believer who found themselves going to that old well. Let us 
na wabariki sana na watende mema wiki hii bwana akulinde na akuepushe na mabaya wema wa bwana ukutoshe may god face shine upon your life may he protect you may he go ahead of you you are blessed and have a great week amen and for friends we pray that as you go back home may the lord be with you May the Lord protect you, may the Lord give you an, a nice and a smooth flight and please take our love and greetings to our brothers and sisters in the U.S. God bless you so much. Thank you so much my brother for sharing the word. Te Corrieria, Momogusi TV, Encoro Yomogusi.